Hello everyone, this is Arthur John, and this is the Guide of Dark Souls. Last episode, I died. Sad face. But it teaches you not to be greedy. And I was greedy, but... Because I was expecting myself to lose, I have a shortcut ready to get back my souls. That way I don't have to drain every single part of my essence to just to get those things back, only to lose it. Oh, oh hi doggy. And get out of here. Oh! No, 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 no. If you took care of that guy, where is... There you are, Long John. Friend, do you want to be my friend? Guess not, he, he tried to kill me. I will poke you, and then I will spank you. There we go. Easy. Now, if you remember the elevator from last episode, it's right over here. But, I'm gonna get rid of this guy. And then we're gonna pick up this item over here. And as you may have noticed, there's no items over there. But, as you may notice, the elevator did not move from the last time. So we gotta pull the lever, otherwise we may face our very own demise. And that's not nice. Now then, as we enter the elevator, we're going down. And as you may notice soon, that all the enemies have respawned. That's not nice. So what we're gonna do is just gonna go kill this guy over here. Kill these guys. And then kill that guy. He dropped a raw gem, cause he raw like that. But yeah, if you notice the upper left corner, I'm no longer have this fire thing. That means I'm no longer embered up, and that means I can't summon my friend Albert. Where is he? He's gone. It's like I have to use this thing over here that I collected the last episode. And the episode before that. Oh yeah, I collected Emperor last episode. I forgot about that. Oh well. I'm just going to take care of these knights over here. By the way, pro tip. These knights, they drop the best loot in the game. And... They, they have very good armor set. They have... And the knights with the swords, they... They have the best swords. Alright, I think I know how to take care of this guy. So I use a weapon skill. That's when you press uh, the L2 or lower bumper button. And I got a Lothric Spear again. What's with the Lothric Spear? I want the armor pieces. Because it's really good early game. And now I'm just saying. Alright, the knight. Make sure he is not uh, in defense position. I'm not gonna get hit by that. Oh no. Whoa. Stare advantage. Aha. Whoa. No. No more. Look, look, and yeah, now we're gonna face the knight that slayed us the last time, and I'm not very excited. It's the blue knight, and he is a big old bully. And I got the backstab. I was worried I would not get it. Oh god, no! And I got ourselves back. I'm really sad we didn't kill him the last time. But, I'm happy that we get a second chance at him again. Oh 
shield pass won't work on me, big boy. And oh, no. Roll away. Okay, okay. No. Oh. Thank goodness I had a second roll there. Oh, thank goodness. <gasps> I got the Lothric sword. We're gonna focus on increasing your dexterity, guys. This sword, this thing over here is the best sword for a late game. One of the best swords. But here we see it's the old hag over here. Uh, she's a handmaiden, like the old lady that we talked in the last episode. But this lady is the one who's supposed to be taking care of the Lord of Cinders. And. No, m more specifically, Prince Lothric, and she gives us an item that allows us to unlock the next part after defeating the next boss. But she also gives us this thing over here, Way of the Blue. Essentially what this does is, if we get invaded, see our crest on the upper left corner just changed. This basically means, if we get invaded by a dark spirit, we get a blue spirit. To help us in our in our struggle. So, what I want to do now is to go back to the Firelink Shrine and level up, and we're just gonna go with low well, dexterity, pure dexterity, because the guy. This is gonna be take. This is gonna take a little bit longer because as I want to show you is to show the optimal path but as of now we are gonna level up our dexterity and how many times can we do that this is perfect it's not it's not enough for the lothric sword but it's still perfect because now we can both carry the claimer by two-handing it but also later on in the game we can unlock a bow and we just meet the dexterity requirement so what I'm going to do now is to use some of our soul bubbles I've been collecting as of yet. And we can use them whenever we want, but as soon as we use them, we can never revert them back to normal. So what we're going to do is level ourselves up and increase it more dexterity. I'm only increasing the dexterity this much only because of one reason. Simply put... We got a Lothric sword. That's the only reason. And I want to carry the Lothric sword the whole way through. Now, I'm going to use all my soul baubles and trying to buy as many arrows as I can possibly receive from this lady over here. Okay, we, we, we didn't need all those souls. Now, we gotta give the blacksmith the uh, Estus shard so we can get more Estus flask. But now that we have Titanite shards, we can use them. And I'm gonna use it all on my Lothric sword because it's cool like that. Uh, we can use it only one time this time because we don't have enough to do it two times. Because as you see, as I use it now, it's now required four. Each and every time, it, the requirement increases when we level up our weapon. So, let's see here. What else can we do? We cannot do anything else else. Now, last time I grabbed some keys. I'm going to show you what those keys do real quick. And... Oh no, I did not unlock the bonfire. That means I have to go through all that nonsense again. No! Well, I can still do one thing, 
and I'm gonna sh show you guys that you have to deal with a dragon and how to acquire the items to do that uh, from last time. You don't kill the dragon, he flies off as soon as you reach a specific amount of HP, but... Man, I cannot believe I forgot to, to light up the bonfire, but I thought I did. Didn't I? Oh well. We're gonna go through this area again, and I would have gone through it more detail la than last time, but as of now... God damn. These dogs are really annoying. Because they're always so mobile. Just a quick hit. Just attack the dogs. They are that annoying. And... Bop. Bop. And we're done. We walk up to over here. We don't need to fight the axe, man. But what we want to do is kill oh, this guy over here. Grab the thing over here. Walk away from the thing over there. And... I just spent HP. Yes. And... No. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away! Eee! All right, he's walking away. I'm just gonna sneak over here in defense position. That way I don't lose any HP. Oh God, oh God. Take this, and this, and this, and this. I spent all my fire bombs, but it's so worth it. Because now, we can level up our Lothric Sword again. But more importantly, can I equip the bow without... Yeah, it's too much. So... No, we can't equip... De-equip this. We, we, we will just have to improvise later on. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna cut it from here until we reach the uh, other bonfire from last episode. And I'm just going to cut it right here. So I did not light the bonfire, apparently. So what do we do now? Well, I just resetted the world. I should have done that. But, oh well. And at least I can now swap my bow for this thing over here. And... I hold in the uh, triangle button for this task, but I normally... Where is... I normally... Yes, this is the part we want to hit. Oh god, no! <laughs> Alright, run, Arna. Run, run like the wind, cause, oh Christ, this guy. Mm. All right, managed to get away from him. I thought I would trigger, you know, the dragon, so that he would start attacking the knight. But, yeah, I apologize that I'm a bit rusty when it comes to fighting the knight. Is not that they should not be that difficult, but. It's, it's been a long time since I played this game, but I still want to make a video. Me doing this. Showing how to do things. And I should have killed a knight beforehand. But this is super tedious. And... You want to hit the wing. See, this is what's... This is what I was trying to trigger, making the wing go over here. As you see him, he is shooting fire within the area and I was hoping he would hit the knight. But this is going to take a little long time, so I will cut it 
from this part as well to the point when he's gonna fly off I'm just gonna edit this part out and yeah and there we go we got another large cyanide shard so as we see here if we were to obtain 10 cyanide shards and then then we have enough Tiny Night Shard to use the large Tiny Night Shard, and that's really OP early game. And some of you are probably asking, how do I grant they? Well, like this, some enemies drop these items, and it's very, it's a RNG. The knights drop this. Oh god, no. No, 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 no. You will not get me. I will put on my shield, and you will die. What up? So it's pure RNG, if you ask me. But now you're asking, Arnor, why are you backtracking over here? Because you already cleared this area. You cleared the dragon. Well, there is a hidden enemy who drops a lot of souls. And I guess we're going to deal with this guy first because he is the most difficult one. And that enemy is called a Mimic. It's a treasure chest that pretends that it is a monster that pretends to be a treasure chest. And I think that would be a good high note to end on this episode. Next episode will be just about us trying to defeat, freeing one NPC, saying what he can give you, and then go for the boss. And these guys are not being very cooperative on my journey. And I just hit those guys, hit that guy. It's a club and an amber. Now, in this room, you don't need a key at all. It's just one of these doors that you can easily open. You're probably asking, I don't know why didn't you just open it? Well,. I want to get the claymore, and if you don't want to deal with a dragon early game, that's that's okay. That's okay. You don't have to do that. But yeah, wait. No, not not this weapon. We're gonna use this weapon, and I fat roll. So now we have a claymore. And now. We do a poke attack. And we're gonna walk away. No, 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 you don't, don't, no. See? This is the mimic. Though, I could have used uh, this thing over here, throw at it. And then his mouth will be open. But look, we got a new weapon. What do we have here? It's a really crummy weapon that does not scale with anything. Beware of the fire weapons and deep weapons, kids. Those things are just not that great. Unless you're going for, you know, uh... If, unless you're going for, you know, level 1 challenges. Because these weapons are not great late game. I'll just say this. If you're... But yeah. I think that's the end of this recording session. I hope you all enjoyed it. And have a lovely day. Goodbye.